Hey, I'm Steve Jolly, and today on the Home Buying Skills Channel, we're gonna talk about should you buy a home in 2022 and will the market crash? Now let's get to business. The question on everybody's mind is will the market crash? Now the Great Recession gave us expectations that are simply not true. Not every time we have a recession do prices crash. Let's take a look at St. Louis Federal Reserve data going back all the way back to 1975. And you'll see that we've had six recessions in that time period and only one time did prices decline. Now on this chart, the blue line indicates prices and the shaded areas indicate where the recessions are. So you can see prices only declined one time since 1975. Two times prices actually rose during the recession and three times prices held level or remained flat. Now, one thing you got to keep in mind is all real estate is local. So let's take a look at how Nashville fared compared to the rest of the nation. Now if you look at Nashville's chart, it looks the same as the nationwide chart. We only had one price decrease and that was during the Great Recession. Twice prices went up and three times prices held flat. And that's going all the way back to the 1970s. What this chart doesn't show is how prices fared during the Great Recession as compared to the rest of the nation. Now prices dropped in Nashville during the Great Recession 9.8% from the peak in 2007 to the trough in 2009. Now when you compare that to the rest of the nation, the average price drop was 33%. So as you can see, Nashville did much better than the rest of the nation and anything going forward based on the demand we have here locally, I expect it to do the same thing. So what does this all mean? When will the market crash? Well, I expect the next real estate market crash when we have a worldwide cataclysmic event like the Great Recession. Otherwise, I think the market here is going to continue to grow and keep growing because the demand is so high. We have so many people from other areas around the country moving in. Now, if you're living a part of the country that's fast paced, I would expect some of the same things to happen to you too. Now, I'm not saying the rate of appreciation is going to remain that high. Double digit appreciation year after year is not healthy for the market, nor is it sustainable. I don't expect the value of your home to climb, but I do expect the rate of appreciation to slow down. The next question is, should you buy a home in 2022? Now, if you're renting and plan to be in the same location for the next three years, then you should probably consider buying a home. And here's why. The number one reason is wealth creation. The average homeowner in America has 40 times the net worth of the average renter. And 70% of their net worth is tied directly to the property that they own. Now, from a local perspective, the average homeowner in Nashville, their net worth has increased six figures since the pandemic started. 2021 prices alone were up 23.7% in Nashville and the surrounding counties. I had one recent client that sold their home for $184,000 more than they purchased it less than three years previous. And I had another client that recently sold their home for $74,000 more than they paid for it in less than 17 months. Prices in Nashville and in other areas around the country are going up as much as 1% to 2% a month. And an average home in Nashville that equals $4,000 to $8,000 a month. Now, if you're renting and in a fast-paced market like Nashville, how can you afford not to participate in this market? Your biggest risk is waiting. Let's assume you qualify for a $500,000 loan at 4% interest rate, but you're not sure if you're ready to buy, so you decide, well, maybe I'll wait a year. Well, let's look at what it might cost you to wait a year in this market. If prices are growing 2% a month, and interest rate goes up another 1% as expected, your additional mortgage payment waiting one year is $941 every month. And that's in addition to what you would have paid at the old price and at the old interest rate. This is your opportunity to get ahead and not fall further behind. Why is the market this way? After a decade of below average home building, demand for homes skyrocketed during the Great Recession. That led to a host of other problems like supply chain issues for building materials and communities pushing back on growth. We're also dealing with a high cost of land and runaway government spending has caused huge increases in inflation. All these things came together to create a perfect storm that caught the world and the market by surprise. Now, nobody knows what the future will bring, but I can tell you this about Nashville. 
coming out of the gates this year, it's as strong as or even stronger than it was last year. Now, you probably want to know, how can you be successful in this market? Well, the first thing you need is an expert realtor who's familiar with the area that you want to live in and the type of home you want to purchase. They should also have a network of vendors who can make the whole transaction as easy as possible for you. Second, if you're in an area of high demand like Nashville, you need to move quickly, both you and your realtor. Success and speed go hand in hand in this market. And many homes go under contract within the first couple of days. So if a home comes on the market that you like, you need to see it that day or as soon as possible. Third, your realtor needs to be an expert negotiator. It's so important in this market to be able to negotiate. That is the difference between a successful buyer and a not successful buyer. Part of the problem is finding out what the seller needs in order to sign that contract. And I'm going to give you a hint. It's not always about money. If you narrow down your choices to a specific community or neighborhood that you want to live in, that may help your agent find an off-market property for you to buy. We've had a lot of success finding these for our clients recently. Your agent needs to be a person of trust in the community you want to buy in. That is so important because no one wants to sell their home twice. Now, the last piece of advice is a little tough to hear. You may need to change your expectations for the type of home you want to buy. If you can't afford the home you really want, I would buy the next best thing that you can afford. And here's why. It's easier to make that move up from a position of strength, if you've been participating in the market, than it is as a renter. I hope you enjoyed today's video on home buying. If you liked the video, click the like button to let me know that you enjoyed it. If you have any specific questions, leave them in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you'll never miss one of our videos. Take care.